Okay, so it's definitely a bit of a clickbait title, but it is a real concern if you've ever run Crystal Deskmark. So yeah, I bought one of those brand new Gen 4 drives because I wanted to see what the hype was about. As you can see, it is quite impressive. 4,000, 4,000, almost 5,000. Kind of insane for <laughs> technology nowadays. I ran just one pass at one gigabyte file size. You'd probably expect like, you know, maybe four gigabytes at the max written. And you know, four tests, four gigabytes. Makes sense. Maybe eight if you consume the reads too. But yeah, so here is the before. Brand new drive. Zero, zero, nothing written, nothing read. Powered on once. Brand new drive. And we run one test. And we have over 100 gigabytes written. And I was like, what the heck is happening? So yes. Long story short, the amount of data written to your drive is based on how fast the drive is and not based off the file size that you specify. The way I thought it would work is that it run the same test over and over again. And it just run faster if your drive was faster. But no, it just writes more data. And now why is this a concern? Well, if you don't know, uh, SSDs have limited amount of writes per drive. Basically, the storage cells get worn away the more you write to them. So they have a limited lifespan. Most drives average like a terabyte drives average like maybe 300 terabytes. So you may think like 100 gigs is not a big concern. But what caused me to look into this is actually this first drive that I bought. So I ran one test on it and I ended up with 389 gigabytes written. I was like, what the heck is happening? By default, Crystal Smart runs five tests and averages the results. So you basically do what I did. You just take 100 times 5, so you're writing 500 gigabytes per test. And what's actually recommended for these types of tests for SSDs is that since they have a really fast cache, you want to try and make your file size bigger than this. So the default is 1 gigabyte, but people recommend like 32. So you, you guarantee the blow past the cache and test like the slower storage. And yeah, if you set that 32, you're really writing terabytes of data for one test. If you run the test twice, you're really destroying your SSD just to run a benchmark on it. And I'm just to test this theory more. Put this drive in external closure, and I slowed it down. And this is the slow test, uh, you know, 40, 40, pretty slow, kind of like a USB. And it really only took one to two, like two or three gigs per test. And I changed the USB port and it hit a thousand thousand and ended up writing like, like 23 gigs. So this is just a heads up for people who might be interested in crystal disk mark that you are writing more data than you think you are. Hopefully someone who knows more about this can tune in and tell me what's going on. But yeah, that's all for this one. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.